oratory. He has over 50 publications in print. As I was thinking about what I was going to say that to you this afternoon, um, it came to me that um, in the past I have identi identified Mary Baraka as a bebop sentence in a Dick and Jane world. <laughs> um, but more recently, today in fact, I would have to say that Amiri Baraka is the nuclear fuel of the African nation in the diaspora. In his long creative life, he has been a part of the beat generation when he was known as Leroy Jones, moved through an avant-garde transitional period before emerging as a black nationalist and becoming the acknowledged forefather of the black arts movement. The assassination of Malcolm X was a seminal moment in his life that caused him to leave Greenwich Village and go to Harlem to found the Black Arts Repertory Theater. From his nationalistic period, he now identifies himself as a Marxist-Leninist. I would like to just say some things, give you some quotes about what some of our black intellectuals and creative writers have said about Amiri Baraka. The late Gwendolyn Brooks said of Amiri Baraka, amazing manipulation of fire and music. Baraka is always news. Ishmael Reed says of Baraka, always a nuance ahead of everybody else. He is our most original writer. Nobody else comes close. Professor Arnold Rapper said, says of Baraka, Baraka stands with Wheatley, Douglas, Dunbar, Hughes, Hurston, Wright, and Ellison as one of the eight figures who have significantly affected the course of African American literary culture. He is a former poet laureate of the state of New Jersey. Um, and because of his poem, Somebody Blew Up America, <laughs> dealing with the 9-11 incident, right. um, they abolished the position. Yep. Uh, and um, with mm -hmm. under Baraka's tenure. The Black Arts Movement recently celebrated its 40th anniversary. To quote Baraka from one of his pieces, we need to use, to use all the all, the skills, all the spills and thrills that we conjure, that we construct, that we lay out and put together to create life as beautiful as we thought, desired it to be, as we knew it, as we know it, it could be, before we took off, before we split for the sky side, not to settle for endless, meaningless circles of celebration of this madness, this madness, this madness, these yo-yos, yo-yos of the ancient minorities. It's all for real. Everything's for real. Be for real. Meet you on the battlefield, they say. What I guess needs to be discussed here tonight is what side you're going to be on. Come on. Amiri Baraka. <laughs>